Hello, and welcome to Quill.org. In this video, we're going to be talking about Quill Reading for Evidence. This tool will give you writing superpowers, and here's why. Quill Reading for Evidence activities are designed for 9th through 12th grade students. You will read a passage and write three sentences that's based on that text. You will use three conjunctions or joining words to expand on a provided sentence stem. The conjunctions that you'll be using are because, but, and so. These might seem like simple sentences, but they're actually quite powerful. Let's take a closer look at these. When you use because, you're providing a reason for something that's happening in the text. When you use the word but, you're providing a contrast to something that's happened or a point that's being made. And when you use so, you're providing a consequence or a result. So why is expanding sentences important? Well, the first reason is that it helps you develop your complex thinking skills. When you use because, but, and so, you're thinking about the relationships of things that are happening in the text. You're thinking of results and consequences and contrast, and these are all really complex thinking skills that you're going to strengthen as you complete a Quill Reading for Evidence activity. The next reason is that you're building your knowledge based on what you're reading in the text. So whether that's if college athletes should be getting paid more or about school dress codes, whatever the issue that you're reading about is, you'll be building your knowledge on that content and the different sides and perspectives to those issues. Quill Reading for Evidence will also make you a stronger writer. And we'll talk about how in just a little bit, but as you are working on your sentences and revising them, you're going to be getting extra practice on how to write strong sentences, and ultimately, this will make you a stronger writer. And the last piece is that Quill Reading for Evidence will give you better reading comprehension skills because you're going to read a text and then you're going to write sentences about what you've just read. So you'll be thinking about that text in deeper, more meaningful ways than if you just read the passage and moved on. So let's take a look at what you might see in a Quill Reading for Evidence activity. So let's say that you just read a passage about the landmark 1954 U.S. Supreme Court case, Brown v. Board of Education. After you're done reading that passage, you might see the following sentences. The Supreme Court found separate but equal to be inherently unequal because, but, and so. Let's take a look at some example sentences that a student has completed about this passage. So this student named Devante wrote these three sentences based on the passage that he just read. The Supreme Court found separate but equal to be inherently unequal because the plaintiff's lawyers proved it created a feeling of inferiority in black children. The Supreme Court found separate but equal to be inherently unequal, but American schools did not integrate quickly or easily. And finally, the Supreme Court found separate but equal to be inherently unequal, so it ruled school segregation unconstitutional in Brown v. Board of Education. Devante wrote well-written and sophisticated sentences. He uses logical thinking and precise evidence, and he demonstrates an understanding of the complex content in that text that he just read. So you might be thinking, oh, I don't know if I can write those sentences on my first try. And that's okay, because in Quill Reading for Evidence, we have a new feedback bot that's going to help you find some more precise evidence and to revise your sentence to make sure that you're writing strong sentences. 
in a quill reading for evidence activity, you're going to get up to five pieces of feedback on your writing, just like you do in our other quill activities. And these five pieces of feedback can either help you with the grammar of your sentence, such as capitalization and punctuation, but it also might help with the content of what you're writing. So did you use a good piece of evidence? Does your sentence make sense? How could you make it stronger? So you'll get up to five chances to revise your sentence to make it a little bit stronger, and then you'll get the opportunity to review strong sentences that other students have submitted from this same activity. And that's it. When you complete a Quill Reading for Evidence activity, not only are you getting practice on using conjunctions and writing strong sentences, you're also developing your complex thinking skills, you're thinking about cause and effect relationships and contrasting ideas, and ultimately you're going to become a stronger writer because of these activities.